Hello everybody and welcome to the Coke Joke Show on Coke Joke TV. So, first off, a little bit of a new intro. I might try I might try that. I kind of like it. But leave your thoughts down below in the comments, even though no one ever comments. But, you know, or hit me up on Discord because that's where most of you talk to me. Uh, if you like it, let me know. My thoughts are good. Uh, anyways, so this week for the DGBA, um, which is last week, really, but we extended the week to 10 days for the two battles and anyways... So our next two games of the DGBA are both going to be post -com because I had audio issues during both. Different audio issues during both. One, my mic was turned off. Oops. The other one, uh, my computer was still hooked up to my HDMI, and therefore it tried to, you know, record my voice through the TV, and that didn't, that didn't go well. So, uh, one of them was not a very good live comm, so that's fine. One of them was, so that's unfortunate. But anyways, we are going to bring you both battles on the DGBA week uh, four. Four? I want to say four. Week four. So our first battle that you're going to see is against MX Dash and the St. Louis Rampardos, who has Victini, Hadragon, Mean Chow, Meloetta, Kofagrigus, Sandslash, Mega Aerodactyl, Tapufini, Ferrothorn, Zebstrika, and Tyrant from. And then our second battle is against Jake Snake and the New York Mankeys, uh, with Kieran Black, Sylveon, Galvantula, Needle King, Gorg Guys, Tauros, Mega Scizor, Infernape, Blastoise, Sneasel, and Natu. I'm not going to give you team builders, um, but I'll kind of talk about the stats as I go, um, just because I think that's too much for one video. But anyways, we are coming in to this week on a three-game losing streak after starting out 3-0 and being top in the league. So we are really looking to break our losing streak here um, in this first battle to try to go, you know, back to positive and not go 3-4 and four on a four-game losing streak, because that's never fun. So we've brought Bullaby, Zerkatree, Politoed, Mega Swampert, Miltank, and Hit Mon Ali. Brought Ferrothorn, Hydreigon, Tapufini, Zipst, er, Victini, Zebstrika, and Kofagrigus. Let's go ahead and put play. We lead with Politoed, who is a choice Scarf Politoed. So I click Scald right off the back, thinking, hey, maybe I can catch Victini. Nope, it's Scarf Victini. But at least we get info, right? 26% find out it is Scarf Victini is not terrible. So we click Scald on Tapu Fini, and that's not going to do much, so I'm locked in Scald with the leftovers, I'm doing 7%, so I'm going to get out of here, yeah, so there's no point. I'm going to go into Miltank, thing I can set up, this is a curse version with um, Earthquake Hammer Arm, I believe, is the double. Um, no Heal Bell, but it is holding a Lumberry, which means it's not holding a Mental Herb, which means I can get Taunted, which Tapu Fini Taunt is going to shut down Miltank all battle. So I go into Zerkatree, knowing I can take one, I'll mix that up. This is Choice Card Zerkatree as well. I have to make a read here. I'm going to pick a pause. So, in my view, I have Hidden Power Fire for Ferrothorn. Um, one's going to be in the rain, one will not. So I would be able to double it with that. Um, I have Dazzling Gleam for Hydreigon, if that's a switch in. And if it's Zepstrika, at this point I was believing Energy Ball to be a two-hit KO. So I kind of had to make a read of who he was going into. Um, Tapu Fini, I didn't, just, I assume that Tapu Fini is leaving, um, against the Zerk Tree, so, I end up going Green Power Fire, I thought Ferrothorn would be his answer. Um, it was not, as you can see, Hydreigon comes in, so Hidden Power Fire is going to do extremely little to a Dragon type in the rain. Even from a Zerk Tree, that's just not, not a thing. So, 8%, that's, could have killed it, unfortunate, but it is what it is. We're gonna go into Vullaby. And he's going to click Draco Meteor and crit, which um, it would not have killed. It would have killed the second one with the drops, but with the drops I could have gone into Miltank. Uh, so it mattered-ish, but either way, I come in on Revenge with Zerka Tree. Uh, doesn't gleam. Boom. Get that beast boost. But he's going to go into Ferrothorn, and, and I can't do much. Uh, so we're going to go into Miltank, hoping to get some health back. Uh, set up if he sets hazards and wants to stay in, or thinks I... If he's super, like, Rocky Helmet-ish, I feel not too bad. I thought I had Sap Zipper. I kind of forgot I didn't, because uh, I was Thick Fat for Victini at the beginning of the build, and I kind of changed up the set, and I should have gone to Sap Zipper, and I didn't. So, unfortunately there, I'm going to get one more curse up, and I can't do enough. As I said, I have Earthquake and um, Hammer, but Earthquake at plus two. It's not doing enough to balance out the non-recovery, as I'm slowing well down by Leech Seed, etc. I'm going to go back into Poly, just because it can take a hit. Set the rain again, um, but unfortunately he's not really going to kill me, and I don't really have anything good to hit him with, so I'm going to click Mudshot. Uh, we're going to click Mudshot a few times, because he's then going to taunt, which, if I have Mudshot, I don't know why you need to taunt me, but it worked out because he's stalling and turning rain. Uh, then he doesn't kill me. 
just wanted to, I just wanted Polly to die so I could get into Swampert. I'm not gonna lie to you folks. Uh, I just kinda wanted Polly to die. Took way too long. I only have one turn of rain now. Uh, so I believe I go into Hitmonlee instead? No, Zerkatry. That's right, I go into Zerkatry and I figure I can make the read again. Click Energy Ball this time, assuming he's gonna go Substrika. And then I find out, no, this is Salt Fest Substrika. This is not gonna do a Or it was either Salt Fest um, Offensive or like. Had a lot of bulk, but I'm pretty sure from this calc, um, he was still pretty offensive. So Swampert takes that pretty well. Swampert's out of rain, but it's okay. Because Ferrothorn comes in, and it's meant to deal with Ferrothorn with low kick. I set up rocks as well. Stop Victini doing too much. Or Zipstrika, you know, all those guys stitching around. Gonna go into Feeny. I'm gonna click low kick. Uh, so I assumed he didn't want Pharaoh in. So then I'm gonna click Waterfall. I think or earthquake earthquake I click earthquake here um, so and it covered the switch and the Pharaoh pretty good I can kill now with a low kick because I didn't think he had anything for fighting but he had chopple so even the crit through the chopple does not kill uh, and he's gonna power up and that is of course going to kill Swampert because it hates the grass so he's gonna go into milk tank I'm gonna milk drink up that was my main goal going to milk tank this is kind of my win con if I can do something to Finny Gonna leave it again. I really wish I was Sap Sipper. Um, would have been so much nicer. But so I'm gonna go out now into him on Lee because I knew I could take one. Um, I went for a knockoff here because I didn't think he'd want to sack this off. Um, I figured he would go into Kofag and I had high jump kick, so obviously I would have died. So I assumed he was fair, gonna go into Kofag because if I was on Burden um, he, and trying to do something, he could take that on Burden. Uh, if I high jump kick reckless, I'd die. So I assumed he was going Kofag. So I knocked off, I also thought I could kill, I couldn't quite because I forgot he had lost his chapel. Uh, so that was a big mistake on my part. I also kind of wanted to cover Victini coming in, so I did that and get rid of Finney's leftovers and I just wasn't worried about Zepstriker coming in. This was banded Reckless, um, so the fact that I my banded knockoff couldn't kill this Pharaoh was really sad. Um, but he's going to Gyrobile and kill me easily. Sorry, Gadget. Uh, so I'm going to go back to Miltank. This is really my only shot at this point. Um, because Choice Scarf Victini is not going to let Circuitry um, be able to sweep. I kind of have to hope to. Hey, he doesn't go into Finny to taunt me and I can get up to plus four while milk drinking. But he's not going to make that mistake. I'm going to milk drink up. I do get up to full health. But at this point, I'm only at plus one, plus one. That's not enough to do what I need to do. He does surf and not taunt, so I could have got up to plus two, plus two. I wish I had, um, but it wouldn't make that much of a difference. Um, I leave expecting the taunt now, which did come. Um, so I could put some pressure here. I believe I clicked energy ball because it was my only kind of chance to maybe put in some damage if he didn't think he could outspeed with Victini. Um, yeah, but he's going to go right into Victini here. That's going to kill. Um, he didn't sack off the Finny. That was kind of my pulp at that point, so it, it's not going to happen, guys. Uh, so we are going to go down again. We are going to go three and four for this battle. Very disheartening. I didn't play the best. I feel like my team wasn't the greatest because Taunt Tapu Fini just kind of ended up winning. And that's real unfortunate. Um, yeah, so he's going to take us out here with the Moon Blast. So I, I wasn't too happy with this battle either. It wasn't as salty as my other recent ones. <laughs> There's been a lot of salt lately in this league. Four game losing streaks will do that to you. But, anyways, GG to my opponent. Uh, he's doing quite well. I can't remember what his place is, but his team is tough. Um, tough to break everything that you need to. Good job by him. Let's move on to our next battle here. We have... Uh, we are facing it. As I said, Kieran Black, Sylveon, and Galvantula, Nido King, who I was very surprised not to come, Gorgeist, Tauros, Mega Scizor, Infernape, Blastoise, Sneasel, and Natu. I also really expected Gorgeist, left Gorgeist and Nido King, um, but we have Mega Scizor, Sylveon, Infernape, Kieran Black, Galvantula, and Blastoise. So let's, uh, I, I'm gonna leave my Heatran here. Heatran is a Stealth Rock, pretty defensive uh, Heatran. Um, with Earth Power, Flash Cannon, and Flamethrower. I don't know why not Lava Plume. He asked me after the battle, and I think I just kind of screwed up and prepped, to be honest. Uh, what you're going to see here is I'm going to play real bad for about half this battle. But stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned. 
Got Stealth Rock going off. I go Earth Power. I thought I could kill. I couldn't. Um, unfortunate. Close combat. I live every time because of my defensive investment. I'll get my Pinch. Um, I'll put on my rocks here because I really wanted those rocks up. Um, I know he had methods to clear, but I really wanted the rocks to keep. Um, Burnape would die if he switched out. Um, Gumfantula is not going to like them. Kieran Black's not going to like them. Even Scizor doesn't really care, but you know. Uh, so I went into Bulu. This is actually special Bulu. Uh, I should. I was going to switch back out in the Polito. I was just like, I'm just doing a whole lot of switching not to kill this thing because I didn't have anything that naturally would spend. Which was silly, I guess. Probably should have brought Swallow. I don't know. So I go into Hitmon Lee, who's going to knock off. I don't remember exactly this set, to be honest. Um, I rabbit spun away. Oh, that's right. It was Assault Vest. So the only way he killed me was Psy Shock, and I figured, why don't you just click Hyper Voice? That seems like the smart thing to do. Nope, this man clicked Psy Shock. This man clicked Psy Shock, man. And even that was a roll. Um, I was very spadeffy Hitmon Lee. Rapid spin, it was my main clearing, and Spadef switch into things. This battle, so that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, because I had a uh, poison jab as well, so if he hadn't have killed there, I think I did kill with a poison jab unless he was max max defense, like a caught mine Sylveon type thing. But as we saw when we knocked off, it was choice backs, so assuming he wasn't going to be max max. Go to Politoed here. See, no drizzle comes this for a reason. The set I have is not legal on drizzle. Um, so I'm going to click Whirlpool. Um, I didn't want to stay on the Galvantula, so, but I know it's trapped in, so I feel fine going out into Circuitry. I assumed he was getting Sticky Whips here, um, and if he did damage, it wasn't going to be a ton. He's going to Bug Buzz. That's going to do a lot, but I assumed it was going to be Electric Move. I'm going to go with Z-Hypnosis. I'm praying it hits. I get it to hit. I'm so excited. I finally hit the Z-Hypnosis. I'm Teal Glowing here 100% of the time. 100%, 100%. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I've calc this to kill um, Offensive Kiram Black after Rocks with a T-Bolt, but he's Scarf Kiram, who's faster. It was about 10 points of speed we figured out after. Um, yeah, so unfortunate. And now Sticky Webs are up to stay because I lost him on Lee and who is my clearing, and yeah. So I get a DD up on the Kiram because he was locked into... Um, Earth power because he was um, Scarf. Well, I knew he could take it pretty well. Uh, and then I click, I put up a Dragon Dance, um, puts him back to neutral speed, so I'm going to outspeed the Sylveon, Iron Head down. He brings out Kieran Black. I'm going to not click Iron Head. That's right, I need to be at plus one. Um, so I'm going to go into Heatran. I find out this is a completely spadef. I thought it was going to be mixed. I was like clicking Outrage. Um, but either way, I take it okay. Uh, and I'm going to now flash cannon, just, you know, punish a switch. Now I'm going to go out into Politoed. At this point I really thought I had lost, but I was just kind of playing it out anyways. It's going to rapid spin away the rocks. Annoying, but that's fine. Um, potentially could get them up later. Uh, unlikely. It's going to Toxic. I'm going to Whirlpool. I'm now going to Parish Song. Whirlpool traps it in, then Parish Song. It's going to kill it. And I also had Sub and Protect on this Poly. Cancerous, I know, but... You know what? When you've lost four in a row, you bring cancer. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm going to now switch out in Kinker. This is my chance to set up, set up, set up. I had the Lumberry on this in case for Toxic, particularly Blastoise, but I knew something would have Toxic. So it's, I'm going to get Toxic because he's going to click tick clicking Toxic. That's He's not letting Kinker in without getting the Toxic. That's his goal, as it should be. I'm going to DD once. I need to DD again. I'm pretty sure I'm faster than Kiram. Um, mostly because my opponent made a comment that he thought I would outspeed with Zerk um, on the Kieran Black, so I was pretty sure I was about to beat Kingra. Plus one Kingra had a good chunk faster, about 30 points, uh, than Zerk, so um, they were uh, to outspeed different things. So I'm going to Iron Head here, I'm going to get that kill. Good, I'm at plus two attack, plus one speed, I outspeed everything on this team now. It's going to go in to the Galv, sack it off to the Waterfall. Um, the Scizor at least takes one, probably two, um, Iron Heads before dying. He's going to Bullet Punch. He's kind of letting me go down Toxic. I'm going to Waterfall. Um, I was kind of hoping he wouldn't Bullet Punch and I would get a flinch. That was seemed like my best method. Uh, I'm going to go into Politone now. I need to trap this thing. I'm um, hoping he doesn't have a U-turn. He does, but he goes first. So he's out. Uh, I'm going to be able to kill the... 
Infernape with Whirlpool. So Whirlpool kills for days, boys. I'm now going to Parasong. I'm just going to Parasong right off the top. Um, count down the turns is the goal with Protect. I know I'm going to talk myself down, but if I can just wear down these turns. He's going to Sword Sense, which is smart. Um, so Parasong is there. I'm going to Protect. Uh, he doesn't go for it. He goes for your turn. I'm going to hope for it because that was the first I revealed Protect. I'm going to go for the double Protect here. There's no point in going for self. Going for the double protect, going for the double protect, really open, no, okay. Well, unfortunate. So now it comes down to a bit of a roll, it's going to be close. Luckily I have a lot of defense in the C-Tran. A lot, a lot, a lot of defense. So I'm going to click Flamethrower here, nothing else to click. He does not get a crit, nothing like that as he clicks U-Turn. Flamethrower goes off. It is going to take up the Scizor, and we do break our streak. I really don't feel like we. I deserve this win. I played so badly at the start. Um, but when you've lost four in a row, you, you take these and run. Um, GG to my opponent, he brought some good things. Karim, uh, outspeeding Zerk was good. It was a bit of a fluky thing, because I didn't think I could outspeed him, so I took some out, and yeah. But, because uh, he could have run Scarf to outspeed, but putting able a little bit more bulk in, good for him. Um, we have the Blastoise Toxic was smart. Um, did some things to my sweepers. Stopped Kingra from really going off. Um, Sticky webs is always a problem. What a play to hit that side shock instead of a hyper voice. Um, yeah, uh, I figured he would not because either way, he trans my switch. I figured if anything, he'd go like Shadow Ball or something. Um, if he was worried about the fairy barrier or whatever. But so you know, it, he played pretty well. Um, Mega Sorcerer is a uh, problem. Luckily, we do pick up when we move to 4-4. Four and four. I believe we're at 0 differential now, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we are in 6th in the league. Top 8 mid playoffs. There's 3 weeks left to go. We're going to move up a little bit, but at least keep that playoff spot. 4-4, um, four four, we won first 3, lost our second 4. So, it's been a very up and down season, but we're looking forward to continuing on. The Iki Town and Center Roar are hoping to push farther than we did last season, where we lost first round in the playoffs. So, I hope you had a great day, everybody. I hope you're having a great day if it's earlier in the day for you. But anyways, have a nice day because Coach Oak said so. See you next time, everybody.